In this video we're going to look at how to use the idealized stress strain curve for steel. Um, in this class we're going to use a um, elastic, perfectly plastic idealization. So up to the yield point we're going to be elastic, so our stress and strain are going to vary linearly uh, with respect to the modulus of elasticity. And after yield we will just have the uh, yield stress um, in our steel. So let's look at a grade um, 60 reinforcing bar, which we know has an FY of 60 KSI, and a stiffness of 29,000 KSI. So the first thing that we'll want to do is find our uh, yield strain. So to do this we can use our Hooke's Law expression and just divide our 60 KSI by 29,000 KSI and find our yield strain to be 0 0.0021. So a strain less than 0 0.0021 we can use our linear relationship and if we have a strain greater than 0 0.0021, then we'll just use our yield strength of 60 KSI. So let's look at two simple examples. So the first, let's say that we're given a strain of 0 0.001, and we want to find uh, the stress in our steel. So our FS then is equal to 0 0.001 our strain times 29,000 KSI our stiffness and we'll get 29 KSI so we can work the other way as well so let's say that we're given uh, that we have 15 uh, KSI of stress in our steel and we want to find the strain at this point so our strain then is just equal to our 15 KSI in the steel divided by our stiffness, 29,000 KSI, and we'll get our strain to be 0 .0, uh, 0 0.0052. So uh, once again, uh, if we have a, a strain less than our yield strain, then we use our linear expression and if we had a strain um, greater than yield, then we would just use um, our, our uh, yield stress uh, in our expressions.